Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Ashish and I'm an international student in America turned entrepreneur. I'm right now at the beautiful, beautiful Harvard campus in Cambridge, uh, USA. So I'm doing this channel to actually help you understand how you can study abroad, specifically in America, without actually spending a lot of money and get the best out of your time and your efforts. Yeah. Hi, I'm Don Corey. I'm an executive at Of course, it's important for you to work hard. Don't get me wrong there. So if you're looking for shortcuts, uh, you won't find much of that on this video. But uh, I'll do my best to tell you what's uh, possible and what's not when you're applying to uh, universities in this country, especially. Um, so at least, you know, you'll, you'll know the easiest, if not the best way to save on your study and your expenses. Now, when I tell people that I did my MBA in the US for free, sometimes they look at me and they wonder if I'm actually joking or I'm serious. Um, so I'm doing this video to actually tell you that I got admits from four ranked US universities and I literally got a 100% scholarship from one of them. Um, now, for me, that was the best thing ever, right? The US is one of the sought after destinations to study but it can get quite expensive especially when you're converting from your local currency and you're spending it in us dollars so if you're asking yourself the question am i really crazy to spend all my money go study in the us and here's the thing if you like getting out of your comfort zone uh understanding another culture if you like you know, making friends, making a lot of amazing friends from across the globe, um, and you like traveling in general, then without doubt, you're not crazy. You're like me. In fact, it's something I would say you should definitely, definitely consider. Um, and I, I, I would recommend that for sure. So here's my story on how I got accepted from four schools. Um, and I got uh, a full scholarship from uh, one of them, right? So I was back in India sitting with my, with my computer trying to put the same search keywords that you must have put in to get to this video. And um, I happened to stumble upon one of my friend's friend on Facebook who actually received a full scholarship in the US. And I immediately picked up the phone and I called him to know more. And I was shocked to learn that this was actually possible, that too for an MBA program. So I finally got to my research and I decided to apply to six institutions and I had split it out. Two of those were dream programs where I knew I had a very, very slim chance of getting through like uh, less than a 10% acceptance rate. And um, two of them were actually uh, safe programs where I knew I could get an admit for sure and to my surprise I got through one of my dream options which was Yale University uh, it's a prestigious Ivy League school I know most of you know it's in the Northeast United States and uh, it's famous for its business and its law programs and then uh, one of my safest safe options was Bentley University which is uh, it's more of a small private university in Boston uh, Bentley actually has a beautiful, beautiful campus and um, surprisingly it's number one for undergrad placement so it felt like an obvious safe choice and that's how you want to think of all your choices, you want to know what they have to offer and um, I knew that Bentley would 200% accept my profile because I had, I had wonderful uh, grades, I was a bright student, thank you to all my stars uh, but uh, to my surprise, Bentley actually threw in a 100% scholarship for my MBA. Surprised, right? Uh, yes, I mean, that was the moment of realization that such things happen in real life. And um, Yale would have like cost me about $40,000 per year after financial aid, and which was definitely a no-go for me, right? 
and that means over the course of two years i would have literally spent something around uh, eighty thousand uh, dollars and that too not including travel not including you know whatever i wanted to eat out with friends or live in a decent apartment all of which would actually leave me close to a hundred thousand dollars in debt by the time i graduated i mean which i mean is is ridiculous so thankfully before i accepted my offer with yale i actually received the received the scholarship from bentley it was uh, yeah and it was very hard for me to get over the fact that i'm letting go of a prestigious school like yale um, but now when i look back i know that i made the best decision of my life uh, Yale would have set me back by a lot of money, at least a hundred thousand dollars, and uh, I would have actually spent close to two years at that university. Versus Bentley, actually was a one-year MBA program, and it let me focus. Uh, some students making noise, and it actually helped me focus on my career. Uh, I interviewed with a lot of companies. I attended tons of fairs, networking events, and. By the time I completed my MBA at Bentley, I actually had three offers. Um, so I'll make a separate video on my life at Bentley for sure. Um, you'll find a link in the description. So uh, if you're in the same boat as I was, you should try your best to actually convince universities to give you a decent scholarship. A lot of times a scholarship application actually needs to be submitted separately than the admissions application itself. So you should not hesitate to ask people questions, be it the admissions office or even me, like send me your comments and I'll reply, but know what these different ways are to apply for scholarship and people will really appreciate. The admissions office really likes it when you're asking them for more clarity around scholarships. They know you're serious and they know that, you know, you're trying to get the best deal. And also don't apply to like 30 institutions. Be smart, pick up six to eight schools and you know they should range from uh, like hard to get institutions to easy to enter institutions and you're pretty much across the spectrum and uh, make sure you let the admissions offices know of your intention to study there uh, so that you get the most bang for your buck but please do that reach out to them on email on phone however you can take help ask about all your questions on scholarships on internships etc and uh, as much as possible you should push for merit-based or need-based scholarships um, because they have no strings attached uh, literally all the six schools i applied for i was always asking them what's the best way for me to get the scholarships i'm from india don't have a lot of money my parents cannot pay for it but i really deserve it here's why right and i got the scholarships uh, even before i started the program and a merit-based scholarship or a need-based scholarship is the best way to save and the easiest way to save because you don't have to do anything extra to earn those scholarships. Uh, you might have to maintain a certain grade point, point average throughout your program, but that's pretty much it. Mine did not even have that criteria. They really literally gave me that uh, scholarship with no targets, uh, but that's rare, right? Uh, but that's the best way to get funded. Now, there's other ways, like there's assistantships uh, where you can work under a professor or you can work for a department for a few hours and it gives you a discount on your payments. And as a student, you're allowed to work 20 hours per week if you get something called a CPT, uh, which we will talk, at in a, uh, talk about in a different video. But uh, that will allow you to get some discounts on, on your payments as well. But as much as possible, like I said, merit-based scholarship is the best way to go. And if it's 100%, great, right? So now what's the most important thing when it comes to scholarships? Timing. Timing is everything, guys. Universities don't give out free money all year round. You should know your dates. You should know that even in your sleep. And the biggest intake in the US typically happens around the fall of each year, which is July. Uh, but applications open almost a full year in advance. So by around November or December, 
typically most schools will end their round one scholarships, after which the probability of getting a good financial aid goes down and down, it gets even more difficult. So make sure that you apply before November, December of each year uh, for the next fall cycle. Now, if you miss the first six months of the application cycle, you will lose out on a lot of free money. So remember, even food, living, traveling, all of these cost a lot of money. They take a big chunk out of your pocket. So the more scholarships you get, the better. So trust me, you will thank me for pushing you so much to get those scholarships because you will use that money to do a lot of fun things. You travel. I did a lot of travel across the US because now I could afford it thanks to my scholarship. I even got a second-hand car. So I left my awesome job in India with a lot of gut and with a lot of determination. I thought, you know, I'll do better if I go to the US and I find something of my own. And I actually started my own company uh, here. So that's been a blessing. It, uh, I, I took a leap of faith uh, and I encourage all of you to do the same. Uh, it's been six years and I came to the US, I got my job here, I now started the company. It's called iSchool Connect, by the way, and iSchool Connect actually focuses on helping students find the best programs abroad. Um, if you need a free consultation with us, please register on the website. It's called www.iSchoolConnect.com. Um, the link will be in the description. Uh, so if you have any questions or if you have feedback for me, please post your comments. I will be sure to answer them um, uh, pretty quickly. Uh, I'll also be doing a lot of such videos, so let me know what you want to hear next and uh, I'll make sure uh, I do some of those. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos. I wish you a lot of good luck with your admissions. Uh, remember, all it takes is a leap of faith, a little bit of advice and some luck. So wish you all success and see you soon on another video.